Understanding the Naval Blockade, a guide to English language learners. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to explore the meaning and significance of the phrase, naval blockade. This is a common term in history and news, but what does it actually mean? Let's dive in and find out. A naval blockade is a military strategy where a group of ships is used to prevent goods, people, or information from entering or leaving a specific area, usually along the coast of a country. It's like a barrier on the sea, stopping ships from passing through. Throughout history, naval blockades have played a crucial role in wars. For example, during the American Civil War, the Union used a blockade to cut off supplies to the Confederate States. This strategy significantly impacted the war's outcome. From a legal standpoint, naval blockades can be controversial. They are governed by international law, which sets rules on when and how a blockade can be established. A blockade might be considered an act of war and can have significant diplomatic consequences. One important aspect of naval blockades is their impact on civilians. A blockade can lead to shortages of food, medicine, and other essential supplies, affecting the lives of people living in the blockaded area. In modern times, naval blockades still occur. They are used as a strategy to apply pressure on a nation or group without direct military confrontation. These blockades can be part of broader economic sanctions or military strategies. I hope this video has helped you understand what a naval blockade is and why it's a significant term in both historical and modern contexts. Remember, learning these terms not only expands your English vocabulary but also your understanding of world events. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.